This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can use Adobe Illustrator to take a single object like this and draw along a path with it like that, or wrap it around a shape like this. And this is done by creating a pattern brush, so let me demonstrate how to do that. I'm going to open up a new document, and I'm going to paste my object onto the artboard here. You can use whatever object you like, I'm just going to use this shape right here because I like how it looks when you use it as a pattern. Let me make this a little smaller. Let me put this off into the corner over here. And what you want to do is you want to open your brushes menu. So I'm going to come over here to where it says Windows and I'm going to click on Brushes. And make sure you have your object selected or group of objects. And then come over here to where this little plus icon that says New Brush. Click on that and we're going to create a pattern brush. We'll click OK. We'll leave these defaults as they are. We can go back and edit this later on if need be, which I'll show you in just a minute. Click OK. And now what you can do is you can grab your brush tool and you could just click and drag like this and draw that shape as a pattern along a path like that. Okay, now let me show you how you can apply that to a shape. Let me take this, let me scale this down, put this out of the way. I'm going to grab the circles and ellipses tool. I'm going to create a circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the pattern right here, or click on the brush rather. And as you can see, it adds it as a pattern around the circle like that. Okay, now let's say you want to alter this a little bit. What you can do is you could double click the brush right here. And in here, make sure you have preview toggled on. You can change the size of the pattern like this, make it bigger or smaller, adjust it as need be. And then there's some other settings in here you could play with as well as like how, how the pattern behaves as it wraps around corners and paths and everything. You can flip it vertically, horizontally, you get the idea. So I'm going to just cancel out of this for now, leave this as it is. Another thing you can do is let me grab the select tool and let me select this. You can come up here to the stroke menu and bring that down, that will also reduce the size of the pattern. You can increase it and decrease it as you see here. Okay, now another thing I wanna point out, if you come over to your transform menu, you can come out, you can go over to where it says Windows and click on transform to open that up. You'll notice there's this little option right here that says scale, strokes, and effects. If I turn that off, I can scale this object and the pattern the size of the object within the pattern stays the same regardless of how big or small I make the object. Okay. Now if I turn that on, if I enable that, the pattern will scale along with the object. So that's important to keep in mind because that will come in handy when you're designing something using these pattern brushes. And then finally, one more thing I wanted to point out is that if you notice here, if you, if you take this object and if you grab the direct selection tool, you will see that this is a single path. Okay, this has not been converted to curves yet, this object. You can still edit this like a path or a stroke rather. Okay, so if you want to finalize this so that you're finished, you're finished editing this as a pattern and you want to continue on, what you can do is you can go to Object and click on Expand Appearance. And that's what happens there. It now turns into an actual path. And you can actually save this and export it to other vector applications and open it without a problem. So I think that should do it for this lesson. That is how you can uh, go about taking an object and repeating it around a path using pattern brushes in Adobe Illustrator. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.